Hey there, fantastic viewers. Welcome to Calm Mind Assuredly. I'm genuinely touched that you chose to click on the thumbnail and join us for a moment of connection and discovery. Your curiosity is the driving force behind what we do here, and I'm hopeful that together, we'll embark on a journey that resonates with your heart and mind. So, grab a cozy spot, because this is a space where we learn, grow, and share meaningful experiences. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Let the magic unfold, and let's make this journey together. But first, please note that our videos, inspired by the teachings of Saint Padre Pio, are not a direct representation of his words. Our goal is to share insights for inspiration and guidance, but we don't claim to be his official voice. The information we provide for educational and spiritual purposes, reflecting our interpretation of his wisdom. We encourage you to explore Padre Pio's teachings through authoritative sources and view our content as encouragement rather than a substitute for your own spiritual journey. Thank you and may you learn something today. In the sacred tapestry of Christian spirituality, the concept of spiritual warfare weaves a narrative of constant struggle between the forces of good and evil. As we navigate the complexities of our faith journey, the wisdom of Saint Pio illuminates a path to discernment in the face of potential spiritual threats. The following ten signs, inspired by the profound teachings of Saint Pio, offer a compass for believers seeking to identify subtle influences that may jeopardize the well-being of their souls. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Ephesians 6 verse 12, New International Version Have you ever felt a subtle unrest, an inner turbulence that seems to defy explanation? Saint Pio, a revered Catholic mystic, left behind a legacy that extends beyond his miraculous stigmata, it encompasses profound insights into the spiritual battleground where the devil seeks to claim souls. The signs explored herein, although not directly articulated by the saint himself, draw inspiration from his teachings and experiences. Through careful reflection and understanding, we embark on a journey to unveil the shadows that may cast a veil over our spiritual lives, armed with the timeless wisdom that has echoed through the centuries. As we delve into the ten signs that the devil may be vying for your soul, it's essential to recognize that these insights are inspired by Saint Pio's teachings rather than verbatim declarations. The saint's emphasis on maintaining inner peace, steadfast faith, and a vibrant sacramental life serves as a beacon for believers in navigating the spiritual realm. Join us on this exploration, not as definitive dogma, but as a guide to understanding the subtle nuances of spiritual warfare and fortifying the guardianship of your soul against the unseen forces that seek to lead us astray. Sign 1. Lack of Peace and Inner Turmoil Saint Pio, a revered spiritual guide, frequently emphasized the paramount importance of inner peace as a barometer of one's spiritual well-being. According to his teachings, the devil cunningly seeks to disrupt this peace, creating a tumultuous environment within the soul. When one experiences a persistent lack of inner tranquility, constant agitation, or overwhelming anxiety, these may be signs of spiritual unrest. Saint Pio aptly noted, if the devil makes noise, it is a sign that he is still outside and not yet within. That which must terrify us is his peace and concord with the human soul. This insightful quote underscores the subtle nature of spiritual attacks, highlighting the importance of recognizing the absence of peace as a potential warning sign of spiritual warfare. Sign 2. Persistent Doubts About Faith Doubt can be a formidable weapon in the devil's arsenal, eroding the very foundations of faith. Saint Pio acknowledged the insidious nature of doubt and its potential to weaken spiritual resolve. If one finds themselves consistently questioning the core tenets of Christianity or experiencing doubt about the fundamental truths they once held dear, these may be indicative of a spiritual battle. 
Saint Pio offers solace in his words, in the most difficult moments, the Lord extends his hand to us. He asks us only to trust him. This quote serves as a powerful reminder that, in moments of doubt, placing trust in the Lord becomes a potent response to the subtle attacks of the evil one. Sign 3. Isolation from God and Others. The devil's strategy often involves isolating individuals, cutting them off from the lifeblood of spiritual connection, both with God and their fellow believers. Saint Pio, a proponent of communal prayer and worship, stressed the importance of avoiding this isolation. If one perceives a gradual withdrawal from spiritual practices or a distancing from fellow believers, it may be a sign of spiritual interference. Saint Pio's quote, in difficult moments, I will always find refuge in the tabernacle, highlights the sanctuary found in the presence of God. This reinforces the idea that maintaining a connection with God and fellow believers is a powerful defense against the devil's attempts to isolate the soul. Sign 4. Obsession with Materialism and Worldly Desires Saint Pio's teachings extend a cautionary note about the devil's influence through an excessive focus on material possessions and worldly pleasures. The saint recognized this as a gateway for spiritual compromise. If there is an obsessive pursuit of wealth, possessions, or indulgence in worldly pleasures, the soul becomes vulnerable to the influence of the evil one. Saint Pio's wisdom echoes the biblical warning found in 1 Timothy 6 verse 10, For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. This biblical admonition underscores the importance of maintaining a detachment from materialism, with Padre Pio further guiding believers with the quote, detachment from things is the first step toward the possession of God. This insight serves as a poignant reminder that an undue focus on worldly pursuits can pave the way for spiritual compromise. Sign 5. Struggling with Persistent Sin The devil often tempts individuals into a cycle of persistent sin, fostering a sense of defeat and separation from God's grace. Saint Pio acknowledged the reality of spiritual struggles and emphasized the importance of repentance and the sacrament of confession. If one finds themselves entangled in habitual sin, it serves as a signal to turn to God in contrition. The Bible affirms this in 1 John 1 verse 9, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Saint Pio reinforces this with his quote, Prayer is the best weapon we possess, the key that opens the heart of God. In this context, prayer and repentance become powerful tools against the persistent snares of the devil. Before we resume our discussion, Here's a riveting insight into the extraordinary spiritual battles faced by Saint Pio. From his early years, he encountered celestial visions, but his journey was also marked by relentless attacks from the devil. These weren't just spiritual battles, Padre Pio was physically assailed by demons, enduring chains and even confronting them in the form of grotesque animals. In a poignant entry on December 20, 1910, Padre Pio expressed the intensity of his struggle against the devil, seeking solace in constant prayer and reliance on Jesus. Today, he stands as a powerful intercessor in our daily battles against the forces of evil. So, did you know about the profound spiritual warfare faced by Saint Pio? Now, let's return to our discussion, enriched with a deeper understanding of his remarkable journey. Sign 6. Feelings of Hopelessness and Despair The devil thrives in sowing seeds of hopelessness and despair, attempting to extinguish the light of faith within the soul. Saint Pio reassured believers that even in the darkest moments, God's mercy prevails. If one finds themselves overwhelmed by despair, it's crucial to remember the words of the Bible in Psalm 30 verse 5, Weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning. St. Pio's quote, Pray, 
hope, and don't worry. Worry is useless. God is merciful and will hear your prayer, becomes a guiding light in times of spiritual darkness. This wisdom encourages believers to persevere in prayer, anchored in the hope that God's mercy will ultimately prevail. Sign 7. Disruption in Prayer Life a vibrant prayer life serves as a powerful defense against the devil's schemes. Saint Pio recognized the significance of consistent and heartfelt prayer in maintaining a strong spiritual connection with God. If one experiences disruptions, distractions, or a sudden aversion to prayer, it may be a sign of spiritual interference. The Bible encourages believers in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17 to pray without ceasing, underscoring the continuous communion with God that fortifies the soul against the attacks of the enemy. Saint Pio complements this with his quote, through the study of books, one seeks God, by meditation, one finds him. This insight reinforces the notion that persistent and focused prayer is a key element in discerning and resisting the subtle tactics of the evil one. Sign 8. Resistance to Seeking Spiritual Guidance. Saint Pio placed great importance on seeking guidance from spiritual mentors, recognizing that the devil seeks to isolate individuals from sources of wisdom and support. If one finds themselves resistant to seeking advice or guidance from trusted spiritual figures, it may be an indication of spiritual interference. The Bible underscores the value of counsel in Proverbs 11 verse 14, where there is no guidance, a people falls, but in an abundance of counselors, there is safety. Saint Pio's advice, listen willingly to the advice of others, but consult Jesus in prayer and, giving thanks, follow the advice that he gives you, reinforces the need for both human and divine guidance in navigating the challenges of the spiritual journey. Sign 9. Unexplained Physical and Emotional Struggles. Saint Pio often spoke of spiritual attacks manifesting in physical and emotional struggles. If one encounters unexplained difficulties in health or well-being, it may be worth considering the spiritual aspect of these challenges. The Bible acknowledges the existence of spiritual battles, urging believers in Ephesians 6 verse 11 to put on the full armor of God to stand against the schemes of the devil. Saint Pio's quote, the greater your sufferings, the greater God's love for you, offers a perspective that, even in the face of unexplained struggles, God's love remains steadfast. This insight encourages believers to persevere in faith, trusting that God's love will ultimately prevail. Sign 10. Disruption of Sacramental Life The devil aims to distance believers from the transformative power of the sacraments, which are vital conduits of God's grace. If one senses a reluctance or aversion to participating in sacraments such as confession, holy communion, or other rites, it may be a red flag of spiritual warfare. Saint Pio emphasized the sacraments as sources of divine strength and healing, urging believers to partake in them regularly. The Bible affirms the importance of sacraments, with Jesus stating in John 6 verse 54, Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. Saint Pio's insight reinforces the idea that the devil seeks to disrupt these channels of grace, making it crucial for believers to actively engage in sacramental life as a means of spiritual fortification. As we conclude this exploration of the spiritual signs inspired by the wisdom of Saint Pio, we extend a heartfelt invitation to join our growing community dedicated to fostering spiritual growth and understanding. In the intricate tapestry of faith, recognizing the subtle maneuvers of the evil one is essential, and Saint Pio's teachings serve as a guiding light in this endeavor. If this content has resonated with you, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel, ensuring you don't miss any future insights. Click the notification bell, like the video, and share it with others who may find solace and guidance in these profound teachings. We invite you to explore our channel, delve into the diverse range of videos and playlists that cater to various aspects of the spiritual journey. Your journey matters to us, and we believe that together, we can navigate the challenges of the spiritual battlefield.
In the spirit of building a global community, we'd love to know where in the world you are joining us from and how you discovered our community. Share with us which part of this content resonated with you the most. Engage in the comments section, but let's remember the simple rule, think before you click. In the pursuit of Christ-like living, let our interactions reflect respect, mindfulness, and love. Negative comments will be deleted, as our aim is to create a space where everyone feels supported on their spiritual journey. Should there be any content that doesn't resonate with you, we encourage the power of silence. Depart in peace, and may you find what you seek elsewhere. In the journey of faith, may the blessing of God be with you all always. Strive to live like Christ, and in the simple act of leaving negativity behind, may our collective journey be one of growth, understanding, and love. Thank you for being a part of our community. Subscribe, like, share, and explore. May the blessing of God be with you all always.